Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to download FrostWire and install it properly. First, you're going to want to go to Google. Um, right now I'm using Internet Explorer. Um, first, you want to type in FrostWire. Just type that in in Google. And then you're going to see a website that says just www.frostwire.com down below the actual highlighting. And mine's already purple because I've already used it. Um, it should say frostwire.com dash BitTorrent, so simple. Click it. And then just click download now. And once you do that, it'll tell you where it'll be located. Well, after we do this. Um, download file. And it should start downloading. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna click save, and then you can click like where you want it to be located at down at your start button. And then once you do that, um, and you have it installed, you just follow what it says. Don't bother clicking on any of those. Um, once you've done that, it, there should be an icon down there that says just frost wire. And there's also an icon that'll pop up on your desktop if you choose to that says FrostWire 5.5. That's the latest version that I have. Um, click it, and then there will be something that shows up in the middle that's loading. And it's not my fault if you guys get viruses because sometimes it'll do that, but not if you know what you're doing. I've gotten, like a lot of albums so far. Um, it'll keep trying to get you to download like a toolbar and all this stuff but I just don't do it. First I'm going to show you all the things I've downloaded. Right there it says Frostwire. It'll come up on your iPod. If you have an iPod Touch it'll show all your Frostwire songs and I've downloaded a whole bunch of albums, songs, I've downloaded 222 songs from it. You can either download it by by the album or by the song. I just think it, I, I prefer the album, but if there's only one or two songs I like from an album, I don't waste my memory and do all of it. So, once you have it up, what you want to do is right here up in the top left corner, search for the file you want. Um, I'll type in Kid Cudi. And on the moon. You can't have any misspellings either. It's better to capitalize the main words, keywords as well. Sometimes it won't load and bring up any files. <coughs> I'll just type in a song that's quicker. Um, Day and Night, Kid Cudi. And here, there's two files, but I'll show you. Waiting for it to load. I'll just go to my library. Um, once you guys have whatever you want downloaded and you want to dra er, drag it to iTunes, what you're going to want to do is go to the file that you selected, right-click it, and click Explore. And then that'll show you where where it's located. It's OS users, then to mine, then to Frostwire, then to Torrent Data. So then you want to open up iTunes. And I prefer to do it without the iPod plugged in. And then once you have everything downloaded to iTunes that you want, you just plug it in, and then it'll sync it. Once iTunes is up. I'm a whole bunch of generations behind as well on the current whatever and once you have it up and you want to put the albums or songs onto iTunes go to the top left corner hi highlight file go down to add file to library or control plus O and then all of the recent recently downloaded songs should come up but if they don't just click more and then recently changed 
and then it'll show all the songs that you've recently downloaded. What you can do is right click it and then you can highlight whatever songs you want and then once it, you do that click select and there you go then they'll show up on your iTunes and that's when you want to plug in your iPod if you are confused at some points and don't and or and you do have questions just send me a message or um, reply to me on a comment um, thanks for watching guys I'll make another video on uh, I don't know just request stuff that you would want me to do and thank you for watching Come on, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks.